Hey guys, hope everything's going well. You guys know the drill. Smash the like button, subscribe if you haven't, and comment down below. Alrighty, a few things on hand. You could follow me on Instagram at AIH underscore sports. Uh, two, uh, my buddy uh, John, he has his new sports card channel. Or not sports card, it's a sports channel. He's going to cover a variety of topics. It's not necessarily regarding sports cards, uh, but it's more about DC sports. He's from DC. He's going to talk about sports ratings. He's going to talk about baseball, football, etc. And he's been on this channel a few times. So check him out. He's at J22 Sports. I'm going to uh, put the YouTube channel down below. Alrighty. Today, I wanted to touch base on this topic that Personal Finance Dad talked about last week, and it was regarding the supply of sports cards from 2018 to 2022, 2023. And he was basically saying that, you know, there are a bunch of cards, as most people know, being printed like crazy comparative to the previous 20 years where the supply wasn't as high. There were different iteration of cards. Remember, there were many iterations of Tom Brady rookies. But at the same time, the print run of some of these cards wasn't insanely high compared to the 1980s where it was insane. Now, appears that history is repeating and I have older individuals who went through the 1994 crash, they were saying that it's the same thing over and over again. And thus, that's why they are not aggressively buying. That's why I'm not aggressively buying. There are a few cards on my radar. Now, I haven't made a purchase probably since December, or I mean earlier this year, maybe March, April. I don't remember at the top of my head. Regardless, I wanted to ask you guys a question regarding... Supply, do you or are you stopping yourself from buying modern sports cards because of the supply issue? Unless you've managed to get a very scarce card that may hold a lot of value in the future. For instance, if you were able to get a Zion Rare Rookie or a Rare Luka Doncic Rookie and it's high in grade, you may be talking... A lot of money here now if you look at any other cards from that time frame or during this time frame there's just way too much supply I remember people were talking about this PSA 10 Zion Williamson card there's 17,000 pop report of this one actual Zion card and PSA 10 I mean in that manner or in that fashion, we probably shouldn't be going after modern cards. Now, I think many people have the common sense not to buy those cards at this moment unless they're trying to flip before the NBA season. I get that. Uh, but I'm really not buying modern right now. The only thing that I'm looking at are scarce cards from the 70s, 80s, and 90s. And maybe some of the 2000, maybe some Tom Brady cards. But those cards have still gone up comparatively to a few years ago. I was doing my purchases in 2018. Now, I wanted to ask you guys, what are you doing with modern? Are you trying to flip modern cards? Are you buying and holding modern cards? This is just uh, me being curious about what you guys are doing. Sometimes I don't do a full-blown analysis. I'm just waiting to hear your responses. So let me know about all of that. And in addition to this, we have to look at the fact that Fanatics is going to be taking over this market in the coming years. Now, it won't be until, what, 2025, I believe? 2026? So there's some time before all of that happens. In the meantime, you see all of this print run going on and on top of it all the sales big sales happened this year and late last year 
And for a company like Fanatics, who's going to be coming into this marketplace, how will they make the revenue? I'm just curious about this. Supply is extremely high. Are they going to do breaks? Are they going to cut off the breakers? I, there, There's a good reason why people are able to get all these high-end cards. It's because these guys do breaks and people get these cards and they sell them on eBay. And people just buy them. And if you look at some of these Mahomes cards, I'm sure the breakers found these cards and they didn't buy them because it wasn't Deshaun Watson. Deshaun Watson probably was the quarterback to get in 2017. I didn't expect Mitchell Trubisky to be picked as number two. And now he's no longer with the Bears. He's with the Bills as a backup. So let me know what you guys think about that. And Fanatics, I just don't think that they're going to... They're going to be coming into a difficult situation where print runs high. They got to find a way to continue to increase revenue. You have to remember, huge funds are coming into this. So they got to increase the top line revenue. That's all they care about. Money, 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 money. How are they going to make money when the print runs high? That's going to be interesting. They're going to have to be very creative. I'm not saying they won't be able to, but they're going to have to find some marketing ways to, or techniques to try to appease their investors or to try to make their investors satisfied in the way that they're acting. Anyways, guys, uh, let me know what you think. Smash the like button, subscribe if you haven't, comment down below, guys. Thanks, bye.